Yeah, I just want to make a quick video on how I um, installed the magnets for my magnetic dust couplers. Um, so these are six millimeter in diameter by three millimeter deep um, disc magnets I got off Amazon. And there's no polarity marked. Um, so basically when you make a set of these, um, you have like a master pattern, which is this one right here. This one comes from my dust collector. And any other fitting you make, any other coupler you make, you want the magnets that are installed in that to match up with the magnets installed in your in your master, basically. Um, otherwise, you know, you could get they'll be pushing against each other if they're not um, if they're not synced up or, or, or matched up. So what you have to do is you have to install what I do is install a pair in each hole here, take my other fitting, push the magnets into the other holes and then shear it off. Um, I'll actually, I'll shear it off like this. And then you have matched magnets in, in both, uh, both couplers. And then what you'll do is, uh, yeah, you glue them down and, um, and then you mark them. So this one's marked right here for one of my other fittings. This is a new fitting I just printed off. I'm going to put magnets in this one and show kind of how I do it. Um, so I used uh, Petchy for these. You could probably um, you could probably use PLA. I just wanted to make something that was a little stronger. Um, also, if I was going to do this again, I'd probably use something bigger. Um, if I was going to redesign it, I'd probably design something with a bigger magnet. These ones work pretty well, but um, if you want something really sh super strong, you know, you probably use a bigger disc magnet in these. But um, these ones are so cheap. And I got I got this pack off Amazon um, for like I think it was two hundred of them for like twelve bucks. Um, so you know it's pretty cheap, and you can't really once you go any bigger, they start getting a little more expensive. Um, I, I use these for all kinds of projects, so I had them laying around. Um, so basically, what you do, I already have one that I, I installed in here that got stuck, so I'm going to line that up to another one with the same polarity or with the the matching polarity. And then while the, what I'll do while I'm, while I'm at that is I'll go ahead and mark it so I know which way to, uh, or where it's, you know, going to be clocked. So one good way to do it is just, you know, draw a line. And then I had a, like a square shape right here. It's kind of, kind of got worn down, but you can mark it however you want, but this is how I did it. Um, yeah, so what you do is you just start placing individual magnets on the master. Um, so these ones are already, you know, glued. these ones are already glued down, obviously. So it'll be a little different if you do to uh, a pair from scratch. And the first time I did this, I put super glue in the holes before I put the magnets in. Um, I kind of figured out a better way of doing it because I kind of made a mess. I used gel and it kind of just made a mess. Um, got all of my fingers, actually, you know, stuck my fingers together and stuff. So um, I would do it this way, which is, uh, yeah, I would do it dry um, first and then flood the uh, flood the magnets with with glue later and I got an extra magnet on I got to take off because I wasn't paying attention oh no yeah it's in there, there. all right so this magnet is the one I had yeah I had um, I already installed it so it's good so yeah then you just line them up Press them in. Get a nice tight fit. And then separate them. So this is my unglued um, coupler. So now what we'll do is get um, CA glue, super glue. Uh, this is the, the thin stuff. This is just Harbor Freight. You just need a little bit. I think this thing was leaking or something. Damn it. It shouldn't matter too much. All right. 
And you just kind of see if I can show this. You just need a little bit, really float around the outside of the magnet. Make sure it kind of stays in place. Make sure none of them are um, kind of above the surface. That one's a little high. You might bump it down a little bit. Can I use a you know tool or, tool or whatever to to knock any down that are that are kind of high? That one came out. And then just hit it with some accelerator. Line up your marks. That's it. Yeah, so these go on, um, you use a four inch hose on these and um, yeah, I might design a few different versions um, if I you know, end up doing different types of fittings, but um, people ask for these, so here they are. I'll go ahead and put a link in, um, in my Amazon shop for um, the magnets I used. Um, and then if you guys have any other questions, just let me know. But it's pretty straightforward, and these are pretty cool because, um, yeah, if you have a mobile shop and need to move your dust collector around, dust fitting, or your tools around and stuff, then um, they help out quite a bit. All right. Thanks.